Welcome to episode 201 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Brunner, Apartment Hacker. It is my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. Tonight, I want to give you a fail-safe way to make decisions, to get to the answer. And this message is really targeted toward property managers or maintenance supervisors or those of you who are in leadership positions. And the fail-safe way is this. Every single one of us in the property management business work for a property management company or a specific property, XYZ property or ABC property or XYZ property management company or ABC property management company. My question for a person in a leadership role, let's talk about staffing as an example. If they are contemplating whether or not a property manager, a maintenance supervisor, or any other position in the organization should work for them, and they're waffling back and forth as to whether or not that person should work for them, I often ask them this question. If there were no ABC company or no XYZ company, and the sign out said, the sign out on the curb said, uh, Shelby Walters Incorporated, or Shelby Walters Apartments, would this person work for you? And very often, in fact, almost 99.9% .9 of the time, the person will say, no, they wouldn't work for me. So I say, obviously, why are they working for you now? If you use that to make some of those waffling decisions, and don't, don't feed me the, well, I can't really be down a person right now, or... I really have to wait for the right moment in time. Baloney. Do it now. It doesn't matter how much you suffer in the near term because the long term will be much more fruitful. In the near term, you poison your operation. You waffle along in mediocrity until you make that decision. So do it today and use that premise or that methodology for doing so. Take care. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.